Good morning, all of you. Myself, Dr. Arvind Sharma, Associate Professor in Physics, Government Dungar College, Bikaner. Welcome, all of you. In MSc Final Physics, in my second lecture, initially, I give you some elementary idea about microwaves and frequency bands because these are necessary concepts to understand the theory of the microwave devices and other theory about microwave communication theory. So let us start. What are microwaves? There are many kinds of definition is given in the literature. I just include few definitions, very much similar, but different statements and different kinds of representation, different kinds of representation of the matter. You all know about that when you define anything, you should be careful about key points. When you defined anything, there are few keywords and after that, by combining these keywords, you can make a statement, any kind of a statement that explains the all keywords and includes them in the definition. So you should be careful about the keywords when you define any word. Suppose that here microwaves are a form of electromagnetic radiation. That means electromagnetic radiation is a keyword. That means microwave radiation is the form of a electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths ranging from about 1 meter to 1 millimeter. Wavelengths, keyword, and range, range of wavelength 1 meter to 1 millimeter and frequencies, corresponding frequencies between 300 megahertz to 300, uh, 300 gigahertz and wavelengths are given in bracket 1 meter to 1 millimeter. So you can easily understand from this definition that the keywords are necessary and after that you can make the statement according to your suitability of the language. Different sources define different frequency ranges as microwaves. Different sources define different frequency ranges as microwaves. The above broad definition include UHF and EHF millimeter wave bands, ultraviolet, high frequency and EHF, these are known as millimeter wave bands. Next definition, a microwave is an electromagnetic wave with a wavelength range 0 0.001 to 0 0.3 meter shorter than that of normal radio wave but longer than infrared radiation. Microwaves are used in radar, in communication and for heating in microwave ovens and in various industrial process. This definition is not good. I include few definitions so any kind of students uh, remember the definition because in classroom every kind of students are there. So uh, first definition is quite good and well arranged in the statement also. Similarly microwave is an electromagnetic wave of extremely high frequency from 300 gigahertz to 0.3 gigahertz and having wavelengths from 1 mm to 30 cm. The definition here given 
a microwave is a part of electromagnetic spectrum associated with the larger infrared waves and the shorter radio waves used for radar communication it is generally regarded as 300 gigahertz to 0.3 gigahertz with wavelength 1 meter to 1 millimeter to 1 meter so in these all are this definition is better than others electromagnetic spectrum i show electromagnetic spectrum here this spectrum is also useful in your zk competition that means this chart is very useful in the many zk questions and this is also very useful in our uh, microwave theories and other electromagnetic theories and it is also useful for your net exam also you sincerely or concentratedly see these things actually what is shown in this poster or snapshot electromagnetic spectrum have a range from 0 to infinity well right and all kinds of waves are included in this spect first of all we see that radio wave microwave infrared visible ultraviolet x ray and gamma rays the commonly used waves are shown here and under this the range of frequencies is given from 10 to 3 10 to minus 3 to minus 5 minus 1 to minus 3 minus 3 to minus 4 minus 2 to minus 2 to minus and visible range these are given for the frequencies frequency range are given here what is given here 10 is to 3 to 10 is to minus 1 10 is to minus 1 to 10 is to minus 3 10 is to minus 3 to 10 is to minus 4 10 is to minus 4 to 10 is to minus 7 10 is to minus 7 to 10 is to minus 8 10 is to minus 8 to minus 11 and minus 11 to minus 15 that means low frequency region is radio waves this part is low frequency region that means longer wavelength 10 to 10 to 10 to 10 to 10 up to 10 10 to 6 to 10 to 10 the font size is small 10 to 6 to 10 to 10 these are known as radio waves and wavelength frequency and below is shown the size of the wavelength wavelength size is according to physical appearance objects that means buildings and people people and buildings are the approximately size of the radio wavelengths after that ant ant is approximately size of the wavelength approximately equal to microwaves and eye of a needle and there is some words prototera these are corresponding size of wavelengths is corresponding to infrared 
and visible region all you are familiar with visible region visible region is given by the range 7 uh, exactly re, re, actual may actual range of uh, visible range is 360 100 angstrom to uh, 70 900 or on an average 4000 to 8000 on an average you can remember uh, this is not given exact data here uh, random data is 400 to 700 uh, nanometer this is unit 700 to 400 nanometer not exactly given next one is uh, virus and proteins are in the size of ultraviolet rays and atoms are x-rays x-ray diffraction you are familiar because atoms size of wavelength is approximately corresponding to x-rays so there is diffraction of x-rays from atoms and gamma rays atomic nuclei so by seeing or observing this chart a physical picture forms in your mind that how we can use the different frequency waves for which kind of physical phenomena or which kind of size of wavelengths you can use that spectrum electromagnetic spectrum is generally divided in seven regions radio waves microwaves infrared visible light ultraviolet x-rays and gamma rays radio waves are used for instant communication microwaves for data and heat infrared for invisible heat visible rays ultraviolet ray waves are for energetic light, x-rays for penetrating radiation and gamma rays for nuclear energy. Some small uh, phenomena or some areas are given, not uh, uh, weaker. We are superficially given here and we just about know about that the some properties and we are just familiar about that. Properties of microwaves and advantage of microwaves and disadvantage of microwaves. These topics we cover broadly in your unit fourth, second chapter microwave propagation. Uh, but initially, just I give you a general idea about main properties of microwaves. Microwaves are the waves that radiate electromagnetic energy with shorter wavelength. Microwaves are not reflected by ion sphere. Point to be noted. Microwaves travel in a straight line in microwave communication chapter. There is a physical term used line of sight. So there we use this property that microwaves travel in a straight line and reflected by conducting surfaces. Microwaves are easily attenuated with shorter distances. Microwave currents can flow through a thin layer of a cable. Advantage of microwaves and disadvantage of microwaves. We, I am leaving at present this part we uh, you just uh, read and uh, think about it uh, you just make an idea how we can do that because these are new terms and new uh, concepts that uh, we read in the next chapter when you we go through the chapter micro communication
Now, these are my some handwritten notes. Microwave definition if we already understand. Here, in this phase, I show the frequency band designation. That is very important part for you. Frequency band designation. Because when you study or read the chapters of microwaves related part, then you should know about the frequency band. Okay, what are the frequency band and how they are designated? In the definition, we see that there is a term EHF. EHF is known as extreme high frequency. In the definition of microwaves, you use UHF, that is ultra high frequency. Similarly, in your book, these short terms are used, so you are you must know about the frequency band designation also. Frequency initially 3 to 30 kilohertz, very low frequency, VLF. And VLF is used in typical services, navigation and so on. Number 2, 30 to 300 kilohertz, low frequency, LF, which are used as radio, beacons and navigational aids. Number 3, 300 to 3000 kilohertz, medium frequency, MF. Amplitude, modulation, broadcasting, maritime radio, coast guard, communication, direction, finding. And fourth, 3 to 30 megahertz, high frequency, HF. High frequency can be used for telephone, telegraph and facimile, shorter wave, international broadcasting. Amateur radio, citizens van, ship to cost and ship to aircraft communication. So these, this table is also useful in your GK competition. If some questions like telephone, telegram, any kind of question will be asked because at present in ZK, there is no limit and any kind of questions ca question can be asked in any kind of exam. So you should be careful and you incorporate this table in your GK competition preparation notes also. 30 to 300 megahertz, very high frequency VHF, which is used in television, FM broadcast, air traffic control, police, taxi cable, mobile radio, navigational aids. Number 6, 300 to 3000 megahertz, ultra high frequency UHF. UHF, television, in television both kinds of channels are used, VHF, UHF, if, uh, it's a, a broadband is used, so there are many areas covers television, satellite communication, radio, surveillance, radar, surveillance, radar, navigational aids. So these frequencies we use in the microwave devices UHF, SHF and UHF. 3 to 30 gigahertz super high frequency SHF that can be used in airborne radar, microwave links, common carrier band, common carrier lane mobile communication, satellite communication and at last 30 to 300 gigahertz extreme high frequency and extreme high frequency are used for radar 
and experience. Now, in next page, there are notations used for brand designations which are used your which are also used in texts and paragraphs given in your chapters so you should be careful about that microwave frequency band designation recommended authority is the institute of electrical and electronics engineering i triple e recommended new microwave band designations new microwave here is a comparison given that uh, what is the name of old microwave band designation and what is the new so you can easily understand because in some books uh, they can you uh, in some books you find that uh, some old version of microwave bands are used and some books new microwave band designations are used so you are very much familiar about that so try to remember these tables try to remember these tables and these are not so hard if you see the frequency range 500 to 1000 megahertz 1 to 2 gigahertz 2 to 3 3 to 4 4 to 6 6 to 8 8 to 10 10 to 12 12.4 to 18, 18 to 20, 20 to 26.5 and 26.5 to 40. There is few symmetry also seen here. So by observing the table, how you remember? You just uh, format your remembering structure that how kind of things you can remember. I see that one, two, 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 three. And after that, six to eight, eight to ten. So any kind of symmetry or any kind of things you observe. So these observations are helpful to memorize the things. Old designation VHF, L band, S, C, X, K U, K K, and K E. And in new, it's very easy. C D F G H I J K A B C D according to A B C D C D E F G H I J K. So you can un easily understand that from C to K, frequency is increasing. But these are the only ideas you just try to remember and memorize this table that is useful for you now in last slide i show about some about microwave sources vacuum tube device operate on the ballistic motion of electrons in a vacuum under the influence of controlling electric and magnetic microwave devices used electromagnetic theory that is the basic difference between microwave electronics and simple electronics electromagnetic theory so this concept is used in magnetron klystron traveling wave tubes and gyrotron which are known as microwave devices we just start these topics so discuss about that and these devices work in the density modulated mode rather than current modulated mode there are two categories of density mode and current modulated mode i advise you that sometime there are some paragraphs or some materials which is very uneasy to understand you you just just go through uh, and when we go ahead you 
easily understand these things. Uh, these are the parts we study about kilostone, magneton, and traveling wave groups. Initially, you just uh, make a picture. Uh, what are the name and which small concepts and which small phenomena they used? We go through when we study these chapters. We clearly understand the mechanism and uh, mechanism and physical system that is used in different devices. These devices work in the density modulated in current. Density. We prove that and we clearly understand about the current modulation, velocity modulation, density modulation in the next topics. This means that they work on the basis of clumps of electrons. Clumps of electrons flying ballistically through them rather than using a continuous stream. In these devices, continuous stream is not used. Okay? And they use the clumps of electrons. You can easily categorize according to power, low power sources. Low power micro sources, solid state devices, such device, field effect transistor, at least at low frequencies, tunnel diode, gun diode, impede diodes. A maser is a device similar to laser, which amplifies light energy by stimulating photons. The maser, rather than amplifying light energy, amplifies the low frequency, longer wavelength, microwaves and radio frequency. The sun also emits microwave radiation. That is very good question for you, for GK point of view. Sun also emits microwave radiation and most of it is blocked by Earth's atmosphere. Cosmic microwave background radiation is a source of microwave. What is the source? Cosmic microwave background radiation CMDR is a source of microwaves as that sub supports the science of cosmology's Big Bang Theory of the origin of the universe. So, in first lecture, I just try to familiarize you about the few concepts about microwaves and few phenomena or few mechanism we are using in the next articles. Thank you students. Thank you all of you. Thank you.